Nothing ever helpful from behind the camera. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, she's back. Thank goodness. The one who does all things. She really does all the work in this videographer world. I don't know what I was trying to say. I need to point out. <clears throat> Wait till there's more people before you oh, announce sorry. your big news. Right. How much longer? Maybe a little bit longer. I'll wait a little bit longer. This is really crucial news. This is embarrassing, frustrating, anxiety inducing. Can I tell my story now? Mm. You're waiting for certain people to get on. That's what you're doing. No, I'm not. Well, I'm just waiting for it to get up to like a higher number. Kids are probably in school right now. We just have to accept that. But Okay, fine. Go. Tell your story. So, at the Seattle facility, I made the poor assumption, based on what I thought was fact, truly, that we did not have a mallet. Because that's one of our drills today. Okay? Really thought there was one here. Or not one here. So I went to Walmart thinking they totally have a mallet, right? This is all they had at Walmart. So this is what we got. There was another one. That was kind of like a mallet. <laughs> so not ideal. Come to find out when I get here though, this was in the back. So cheers. Cheers to that. But in the event, when we talk about mallets, that you don't actually have a mallet, a hammer does work just if you have a mallet. Congratulations. Um, we're back in business with some drills today. Um, as you can see, we're going to talk about our insider tea in a little bit. Um, but we are going to start with the like self-toss fungo. And this is a good drill to work on that lag and getting our reach and throw going okay so <laughs> another fun fact um i forgot my bat so <laughs> really killing it today so it really it's just a great tuesday it's tuesday all right um eat your tacos have your sriracha i don't know do whatever you gotta do um but again pretty simple concept maybe not as easy in execution for some people, but um, fungo, like I said, is really good. I'm not gonna toss it, I'm just gonna kinda demonstrate without a ball. But as we toss, okay, we wanna go through everything and really focus on getting this action going, our reach, and then getting to that bat lag to get to throw. If you are tossing to yourself, which you are, make sure it's not. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> Make sure it's not too high and make oh. sure it's not too low. Okay, you want to give yourself enough time. And the other thing about um, the anxiety and stress that going to buy that hammer caused is I was a little bit late. So I've taken roughly one practice swing. So this could be great. It could be terrible. Um, it's an adventure. Disclaimer, but it's an it adventure. could be fine for everybody. Um, so let's see. Again, our goal with this is the reach and throw and bat lag, but we're also trying to drive the ball back up the middle, okay? Keeping your hands inside and throwing. Um, this is another drill that you can stop at extension for. Um, I, I suggest it, again, so we're not becoming too rotational, um, but I'll stop talking about it and we'll try it out, okay? Ooh, not my best, but swing two. We're gonna try it again. I don't think anyone could tell. No one could tell how bad the result was. No, it's oh. this camera is not like panoramic view. I don't view. have like the, the split view where people can see me from all angles. No. Because it's just you. Got it. All right. Again, I'm getting a little too rotational. So I apologize for that. But let's try it one more time. Hope for the best. Um, again, with this, keeping the barrel in is important. I can feel myself letting my barrel out a little too early and again using my hips too soon. So the big focus here is really driving and connecting from the backside to drive through the ball. Better. Even though this is how I held the bat that time, but we got it. Um, any questions on this, why we do it, 
Um, this is also a good drill if any questions want to come in. If you do want to start practicing on different contact points or kind of moving the ball around, um, coaches get a lot of practice at this, like hitting ground balls. So if you're thinking of wanting to hit more to the left side, we still want to stay inside that ball, but we could work on, again, hitting more to the left side or to the right side. There's a net right there, so I'm going to move a little bit. But again, hitting more to the right side. But um, this is a good drill, solo drill, obviously. Um, you could do this with tennis balls, wiffle balls if you have them um, in your backyard. It's a great drill. Any questions on that one? No. Maybe a dance, just in case. I, what was the, the new one I did the other day? Oh, this one? Little, like, it's like way. it's like the worm but in the air but vertical yeah the <laughs> vertical <laughs> worm Just a little bit, yeah. well balanced okay next drill probably my favorite drill um to work on small story about this almost every person i've ever hit with has probably heard the story i'm sorry it's probably old and annoying to most of you by now the first time i did this drill i missed the ball every single time and I went home crying because I couldn't do it. So, also that was in college my freshman year. Just in case everybody wanted to know that. But, we're gonna have our mallet. It's gonna be in one hand. We're gonna talk about both, okay? Um, very similar to our lead arm Jenny, but we have this, obviously this small little mallet. Ideally, just like you would hammer down, okay? That's how you wanna hold it in your hand. Because if we start with it like this, thinking that that's the way we want to go we're going to end up rolling over and causing bad habits so if you think just how you would hammer get into your hitting stance hammer down or would you say hammer time which one would you hammer say time for sure okay um, it's hammer time to hammer down um <laughs> uh again making sure we're setting it up with the laces to us is important just to give that visual of where we want to be hitting the ball at and we do want to be stopping at extension <laughs> Are you laughing at yourself right no. now? No. Okay. So you're laughing at me. No. <laughs> you can't tell. Kind of. Um, okay. Again, stopping at extension here, staying inside, throwing through extension. Okay. Let's hope for the best on this too. Pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty, pretty good one. But again, we want to stop in our stacked position. Back heel is up. Stopping at extension. Staying inside. Throwing through the middle inside part of the ball okay switching to the top hand same idea wanting to get our elbow lead excuse me our wrist is cocked throwing our wrist to the ball last okay going through your whole motion and stopping at extension i have an awkward hand on both sides so maybe grab your shirt grab your shirt but make sure it's not trying to do too much um that's the mallet. If you want to get frisky after you do the mallet, you can get a little bat or just working on stopping at extension with your bat is also a solid way to go. Any questions on that? Comments? No, but your dance moves were a hit. They liked them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what was the comment that was making you laugh the hardest? Um, I don't know what was making me laugh the hardest. There was looking super duper fly. Mm. Now people are just wanting to make me feel better because it was so bad. Um, this is one we've talked about. We're going to do the insider T. Um, this is the one I'm the most nervous about. I might whack this and cause a ruckus, but we're going to see how it goes. So again, the idea here, um, this is kind of a hands bat laggy focused day, I guess. But again, as you're set up, we want to make sure the T... It's kind of just, again, not a math wizard here. Um, it's kind of hard to see the T. It is kind of hard to see. Here, wait, right there. Um, this is better. It's a little bit more than a foot away from me, and it's kind of angled back. So ideally, as we would start, um, we're reaching, hopefully clearing this back T to then throw through the middle. The idea here, again, is that we don't let our hands leak out or cast out around the ball. Um, I'm actually going to move this back just a little bit. Can you still see it? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, again, always trying to keep the laces 
facing us so we can work on staying inside the ball even more. Um, we'll see how this goes. So go all the way through your swing. I did it. I made it. Um, another way that we can do this drill, if you don't want it towards the inside, closer to us, another good way to practice is by setting it towards the outside corner, working on kind of a similar, or working on the similar idea of not letting our hands cast from this point, okay? Still staying inside the ball. We've done this with a lot of different tools, pool noodles, um, other tees on top of chairs, whatever you have to use. Um, whatever you're comfortable with but again same idea a lot of times we see the hands come cast around and we get rotational this might be even a little too far away but um and obviously this would adjust with where you're putting your contact point so um if it's inside you might want to move that to a little bit closer to work on that but for this just because it's down the middle but again going through your swing Clearing, staying inside, not knocking the tee over. Um, like I said a few times, pool noodles are great for this so that if you do hit it, it's not gonna totally destroy your bat or the tee that you have um, with summer coming. Hopefully those are maybe getting into the stores more. I don't know. Or if you already have them, go set them up. But other than that, I don't have anything. You have a question. So someone said, just tuned in, but wondering some drills to get my daughter to use her lower half. She's all arms right now. Okay. Today's focus was on the upper body, but thinking of lower half, we do a lot of um, drills for that as well. But my favorite right now, my favorite drills always change. I think I say that about every drill, actually. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But um, is knee down to extension because it's really focusing on driving through with your lower half. Um, so again, normal stance as you swing through, riding your knee down to really focus on the backside drive through the ball. We also talk about our jump back drill quite a bit, as well as our flamingo drill. Um, but jump back is just as you could imagine, you're in your normal stance, um, dropping back, striding and driving. So starting maybe a little bit closer towards the ball and then ending where you would want to be starting from, I guess. I think that's kind of confusing, but if this is where you want to end up, maybe start a little bit further away. If the jumping is uncomfortable, you can also just do a step back and load into it. Um, so again, load and drive. Um, really thinking about driving our back knee to our front knee is what we want to think about the most. Um, another good thing to think about is that as we're finishing, our back heel or our cleat is to the catcher or straight behind us. But um, talking about the flamingo as well, we do talk about this one a lot. Um, setting up, again, where you'd want to be starting from. Balancing, balance is always a tough one for me. Uh, and then loading down, stride, and then swing. Um, again, all of those are really focusing on getting into the leg before we start going forward. Um, some other ones we have done in the past are putting some kind of larger ball between your legs to really feel the pinch as you drive forward. Um, maybe some of the SU instructors could drop some of theirs in as well if I'm not hitting one of them, but those are a lot of the primary ones that we think about. Last week we talked about our Happy Gilmore. That's a really good one too, didn't we? Do you happy Gilmore last week? Uh, I don't remember. I think so, but if not, um, I think it like was so. You start behind and just like his funky golf swing, you walk through, load, stride, and drive, getting that momentum and building up into the legs a little bit. Um, I don't know if I have enough space, but I'll, I'll make it work. So again, not like a slapper. We don't want to drop back, but we do want to cross, step, and swing. Um, but those are really quick versions of that. Uh, one of our Zoom lessons is coming up, and the first one is all about lower half, so um, check that out maybe. Um, but other than that, those were the three drills I had planned, and then you got a few extras, but... Bonus. Bonus lesson stuff. Again, hammer, 
or a mallet if you have one. That's all I have for today. You got to dance. When was the question about Zoom lessons, I think. When? I believe those are going to get started next week. Stay tuned for more information on that. Where is it going to be posted? Like, how would they find An out? An email is going to go. Or maybe you'll see it on our Instagram. Or maybe. Maybe the website. Maybe the website. Maybe I'm not the person to be sharing this information yet. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to. Shauna, please forgive me. Everybody give me some slack a little bit. Because that was a mistake maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a mistake. But who knows? The world may never know. The world may never know. Um, thanks to the videographer for coming back. Huge props there. Um, that's all I have for today. I will see you all, whomever Wait, you all are. Somebody wants a shout out for Layla in Texas. Layla in Texas, what up? How you doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing great on Tuesday. Hope you had a good lunch. I haven't eaten lunch yet. But I'm going to have Panera. Pretty stoked about it. Layla, hope you're doing well. Um, shout out to my nephew. He turned 16 today. My niece turned 14 on the 18th. All the birthdays. Congratulations. And I'll see you at 10 a.m. on Friday.